Hey YouTube, Mike here. How are we doing today? Hope we all had a safe and productive week. Today I'd like to start the first of those tip videos that I mentioned in the uh, last video that I did. They are things that I have learned through the years from my father, my uncle, and other tradesmen. Little tips and tricks um, on the job site that could help out in not just carpentry, pretty much a little bit of everything. And what I'd like to do is either once a week or once every two weeks, I like to post one of these videos um, and explain and show you uh, how to do it. Today, I'd like to do um, a punch, a very inexpensive punch. Um, if you don't own a punch set, which could be a little bit expensive, anywhere from $70 up to $300. Basically, what this is, is if I can find it, Oh, here it is. Is a half inch by six inch galvanized nipple. You can get any of the home big box stores, Home Depot or Lowe's. It's about two dollars and seventeen cents. What we're going to do is we're going to cut off the thread, but you can also keep the thread on. We're going to grind it down to a taper, and then we're going to use it to punch out. You could use it to punch out a piece of neoprene, a piece of gasket material, a piece of uh, felt. Um, a piece of um, glue backer, anything to make little round feet. And you could do it with any size um, piece of pipe, and it could be as long as you want it. You can go from a quarter inch up to two inch, and basically use it to punch out this type of material. Okay, first thing we want to do is a little bit of shop safety. We want to wear our safety glasses, especially when we're going to grind and we're going to use a saw. Uh, I wear mine all the time. Now, with this, I'm going to use my little portable band saw. You can use a hack saw. You can use a chop saw or a cutoff saw. You want to use something to pretty much try to get this as straight as possible. Okay? So let's start the build. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off the thread of this. Now, if you have a reamer or a, like a deburring tool, you just want to take the burr out from inside of this because that's where you're going to be making it sharp. That's where the segment will come out of. So once you get this thing, you don't have to worry about the outside edge because on the grinder, you're going to be taking that down. Okay. You also want to use, get yourself a piece of MDF. MDF is soft and the material that you're going to be punching out, you'll be able to, it'll, it'll give, it, it, it'll be an impact. You don't want to do it on your good table. You, certainly, you don't want to do it on a piece of plywood or a piece of hardwood. A uh, piece of pine will also work, but the MDF, I found to always to work really good. Okay, so let's grind this thing down. spot and you'll get a flat spot. And you want to kind of angle it like on a 30 degree angle. Deburr it.
try and see if it's sharp enough. There you go. Take something to pop it out. And now you have a nice little round circle that you can use as a foot. You can glue it, CA glue it, hot glue it on. The bigger ones, any little bit thicker, you can actually drill a hole through it and use a screw and a washer. But that's, you can, you will have to eventually re-sharpen it. You can actually feel it when it drops through what you're, you're um, punching out. I lost it. There's another one. Perfect circle. And that's what it would look like the taper. Now, you actually can use the thread part. I actually, I flattened it, but the thread being sharp the way it is will actually cut through um, the material because Sorry about that, I was draining the compressor. When you thread a piece of material, a pipe, you're actually thinning it out and you can use the thread if you wanted to, but that's all you basically will need. Okay, YouTube, let me just um, show you what I built yesterday um, for my edge banding. Let me just take this off the stand here. Okay, here is, let me see if I can get to it, little, little uh, cubbies. There's a total of 16 of them. 14 of them will hold this head banding. And you see, I actually cut off the color and hot glued it on. That's for my glue, the ones that I still have the glue. That's the fast cap ones with the uh, tape and the, the sticky tape on it. And these will eventually be when I buy the dots. I'm going to fill these up. I'm not just, I'm just going to leave them in there random. But that's going to be for future ones. And I just threw this together with quarter inch MDF glue and some uh, pins. And then my tape rack, which I mounted on top of it. Okay. Okay, YouTube, I hope that was helpful, and I, like I said, I will be posting um, probably one of these type of videos every week or every two weeks, okay? I hope you all have a nice weekend, and I will see you on the next video. Take care now. Bye-bye.